Hello Real Queens, this is my new official Greenhouse Effect tutorial. So for those of you who do not know about the Greenhouse Effect, please visit our websites realqueens.net or realqueens.ning.com and there you'll be able to find tons of info on the Real Queens regimen and the Greenhouse Effect. But in a nutshell, it's very quick and simple. All you need is some H2O, which is optional. If you can produce enough heat or if you sweat enough at night, you don't need the water. But I don't, so I use water first. Uh, you need 100% natural oil, and if you'd like, you can also use natural butters or natural moisturizers, as long as it's 100% natural. So no conditioners or no unnatural products. So I applied the water, the oil, and the butter to my hair, not my scalp. I never recommend putting oils or products directly on the scalp because I don't want to clog the pores and risk my natural scalp oil, which is sebum, from being able to come out and do some magic. However, since the Real Queen Stimulating Oil stimulates your sebaceous glands to produce more sebum, I do put it on my scalp like once or twice a week and do a nice scalp massage prior to doing my greenhouse effect to optimize my results. Because as you know, scalp massages are absolutely amazing for stimulating hair growth. But again, other than that, I do not recommend putting anything directly on the scalp, especially since by default, whatever product you apply to your hair will eventually bleed onto your scalp regardless, so there's no need to apply anything else to directly to it in my opinion. Now the reason I started doing the greenhouse effect with the anointed stimulating hair growth oil instead of castor oil or ego like I was doing before is because of the added benefit. So just to name a few, uh, it promotes fast hair growth, promotes the production of your scalp's natural oils which is sebum and that moisturizes and nourishes your hair. It prevents the formation of split ends, it relieves dandruff, repairs cell membrane of the scalp and strengthens the hair roots. So overall your hair becomes healthier, softer, shinier, thicker, and stronger. So for a complete list of ingredients, you can visit our online store, which I'll post in the link. I'll post a link to in the description bar below, okay? Now, you can try it with whatever oils or butters or blends that you like um, the most. Again, just make sure that it is fully natural, okay? So this method can be used on all hair types and textures, whether you're natural, relaxed, or transitioning. I like to do it as often as possible and find that I get the best results when I do it five to seven days a week. But I aim for at least three because I do get busy and lazy sometimes. Um, so you can do it as often as you like for as long as you like. As long as your hair and your scalp can take the heat, okay? So how much is too much? Well, the key to knowing how often you should do it and what oils or butters you should use is to just listen to your hair and scalp and pay attention to what it likes and what it doesn't like. So everybody's hair and scalp is different and reacts differently to different things. Now this can also be done um, if you have a wig, sew-in, extensions, kinky twists, some ladies like to do it under their wigs, which is awesome. And if you have a sewing, you can um, use an applicator bottle or your fingers to run a little oil on your braid to keep them lubricated and nourished. And uh, for braids or kinky twists, I recommend running a little bit of the oil over the braids or twists up to the point where your hair ends, because there's no need to, you know, put oil on the rest of the extensions, just a waste of oil. Um, and if you do have the anointed oil, you can also lightly apply that to your scalp as well when desired. Now a quick tip for transitioners dealing with the two textures. Um, your relaxed ends may not like just water and oil, okay? And they are very prone to breakage during the tra transitioning period. So we strongly recommend using a butter as well to seal in the moisture and reduce the amount of the dreaded transitioner's breakage that you get, okay? So what's the point of the greenhouse effect? For one, it helps produce more sebum to nourish and lubricate your hair, as I mentioned before. Um, it's great for moisture. It stimulates hair growth. The average hair growth rate, I believe, is a half an inch per month. And whenever I do the greenhouse effect consistently, for instance, when I have my three-month challenges, I average an inch of, of um, new hair growth per month, as opposed to half an inch. So a lot of people ask, you know, when they should expect to see, you know, the extra growth. Well, I personally like to check my hair growth after the three month challenges I set for myself because you definitely get to see a noticeable difference, difference in length. And I always aim for three inches in three months. So that's always my personal goal. 
Um, now you can also incorporate the greenhouse effect into your own personal regimen, however you choose as opposed to doing the entire real foods regimen. For instance, some people like to wash their hair every week and you know do co-washes in between and that is absolutely fine. Don't be afraid to tweak it according to your personal needs, but I always strongly recommend that you stick to 100% natural oils and butters or mixtures when doing the greenhouse effect, okay? Uh, you never know you know how certain chemicals can react to your scalp and your hair under a heated cap consistently for long periods of time okay so beware of that that's why i always recommend using 100 percent natural products okay so like i said before everyone's hair is different so results may vary as well i get amazing testimonials from ladies all the time that um you know are natural or relaxed transitioning or even locked uh, you know, about the rapid hair growth they get, the overall health, the moisture, the softness, the manageability of their new growth, which totally, totally, totally makes our day. So please, please, please keep those messages coming, ladies. We love hearing about your progress. And thank you so, 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 so much for sharing that with us. It truly inspires us to want to do all that we can possibly do to help our fellow sisters out there on their journey. So I just wanted to explain a few things. Um, as you noticed, I um, did not put a lot of product in my hair. I tend to use more product in the morning because I do style my curls with the exact same thing that I do the greenhouse effect with. So um, all I used was a little bit of water and I used the water to jumpstart the greenhouse effect, uh, you know, to produce more moisture, more steam because I do not produce enough uh, heat and moisture throughout the night on my own. I'm not really a big sweater. So um, adding a little bit of water helps to give it a little kickstart and I'm able to see the water drops in my shower cap when I take it off in the morning which is what I love to see. Um, you don't have to see that but it's nice to see it because you know for sure for sure it's working. Um, the other thing I did is I added um, some of the Real Queen stimulating oil and a little bit of the Real Queen soy butter to my hair. Uh, butter and seal or seal and butter because I actually did this one first and this one after. I tend to do that when I'm styling my curls so that's why I do it when I'm doing my greenhouse effect. doesn't really matter which um, way you do it uh, as long as you're applying 100% natural butters, oils, whatever you decide to your hair. Um, um, my hair was dry when I was doing it, so it was not damp, wet, nothing. It was just dry. Uh, my hair was already detangled because I did wash my hair a couple nights before. Um, all I used was the Real Queen's, um, Real Queen's Stimulating Anointed Oil and the Real Queen Soya Butter. So those are the two items that I used, and tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to be doing a wash and go um, or a rinse and go. I don't really want to cut all a wash because I'm not washing my hair, but I will be wetting my hair um, in the shower when I take a shower. And when I come out, I'm just going to style my hair with the Real Queen Stimulating Oil and the Real Queen Soy Butter. And I may add a little bit of aloe vera juice at the end just to pop the curls a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you guys um, you know how I do my greenhouse effect if I'm doing a wash and go okay so you can do it with a braid out, bantu knot out, wash and go, bun, it doesn't really matter um, you don't have to do twists you could just throw it up in a bun you can pretty much do whatever you want to do but um, yeah I'm doing a wash and go so I didn't really do any tight um, you know braids or anything like that I just wanted to make sure that all of my hair was moistened as you notice I didn't put anything on my scalp um, so yeah that's pretty much it so I will show you how I you know in my hair in the morning for a wash and go after doing the greenhouse effect. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like Real Queens on Facebook and add us at Real Queens, Nika Lashana and Ivano The Way. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Nika Lashana. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at askrealqueens at gmail.com. We also have a website and an online store where you can shop for all natural hair and skincare products at realqueens.net. And while you're at it, you can also check out our social network at realqueens.ning.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All links and info will be in the description bar below. We love you guys so much and want to thank you for your continued love and support. So blessings and love to all the real queens and kings out there.